Hello students, this is your professor, Dr. Mink, and this is a follow-up to the instructional video on how to install Visual Studio 2019 Community. So we have it installed, and we're going to now start or create our first C++ project. So when you get to the Start menu, I just clicked on the icon Visual Studio 2019 to get it started. I'm going to come over here and create a new project. And if you installed the right um, packages, um, you're, you'll see a different startup menu when you first get to, because I've opened a lot of applications and I'm using Visual Studio to teach two different programming languages. This is for my CSC 121 C++ class. So I'll just come up here and type C++, okay? And I should see empty project and console app they're very similar. I'm going to use a console app, okay? The only reason I'm doing this is it's going to add some startup statements. We'll make it easy for you, for us. And I'll just put my uh, first program 2020. If you click this checkbox, it will place the solution and the project in the same directory. That will, trust. just trust me on this one, I'll make it easier for you at the beginning. So here we go. Here's our first program, open in the IDE. First part of the IDE, the integrated development environment I want to highlight is Solution Explorer. Solution Explorer, ever, if you ever close that by accident, you just come over here to view and you'll pick um, Solution Explorer. And there's a hot button. Here's your project. And we're most concerned with this file. This is the CPP. This is our source code file. And it's currently open in the editor. This is the editor. And this first program um, created by the IDE, the template, just prints hello world to the screen. Literally, literally uh, prints this string hello world using the object C out and the insertion operator, which we'll get to in a second. So if I were to um, run this, just click local Windows debugger. You can come up here and debug, start debugging. It will debug this program and it will run it. And there we go. Hello world. And then it, this other stuff comes back telling you that um, to close the window, you press any key. So let's add a few things. Any line of code that has two forward slashes is a comment. Anything after the two forward slashes is ignored. So for example, I could put, I could put my name. And you'd be surprised at how many students submit their first program and it says programmer William Mink. For the record, that's my name. <laughs> so this statement here is just for now, it's a startup statement. And this is include, it includes the IO stream class and it enables us to use this statement C out and another C in. C out sends output to the monitor. C in sends or solicits input from the keyboard. And there we have our main function. For the first, I don't know, seven weeks, eight weeks of this class, we're going to write our programs all within main. This is called the main function. And it's declared to return an integer, its name is main, and then in between these braces is where we put our program. Now you'll see 
C out is preceded by standard STD colon colon. That designates the standard namespace. I know this is a lot of information, but so we don't have to do that because we're only going to use the standard namespace. I'm going to ask you to place this other startup statement. Namespace. And you'll notice you can hit tab when the keyword you're looking for rises to the above, rises to the top. And every line of code except for the include directives is going to end with a semicolon. So that enables me to not have to have C out. So let's try a few things. Let's declare a new variable, integer, named input. Okay. And then we're going to prompt the user of the program to enter a value. So C out. No, we don't need standard. Enter a value. A, enter a whole number. Okay. And then we'll do CN input. Remember CN input. I'll delete hello world. We don't need that. Okay. And then C out, you entered, we'll put a space, another insertion operator, and then we'll, we'll send the value and in input, and then we'll insert an end line, E-N-D-L. And that's the end of our program. I'm also going to put a return zero, only because that's appropriate. And I'll get to all this later. So come up, save all, run the program. Whoops. Must have typed an error somewhere. Oh, I've got this somewhere. I accidentally put an asterisk. Sorry. Uh, save it. That's good. So I don't know how that got there, but here I don't have any errors in my program. We'll ha enter the number 556. Boom, you entered 556. Okay. Exit with code zero. That's the return zero. And I'm going to get to all of this in a second, but this is just to help you get started to create your first program in C++ and the lectures and Supplementary, supplementary videos that I post will help you do a lot more. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the class. Look forward to working with you.